To add a contract record, select the Contracts Top Navigation menu option. You can either click the Add Contract link, or, as an alternative, you can select the Add Contract by Vendor or Client link to first search for the company you'll be adding the contract with, and then continuing with adding the contract information. For this tutorial, we will be adding the new contract by using the Add Contract link. This will bring you to the Add New Record screen. You will see a drop-down menu where you can view all of the contract record types that are in your Contract Insight application. Note that at any time you can cancel creating a new contract by clicking the Cancel link in the right-hand menu of the screen. Select the type of contract you would like to add and click the Continue button. This will open the Add New screen for the contract type you have selected. At the bottom of the screen, you will notice that several of the boxes are grayed out. These fields will automatically be populated by the system upon creating the new contract record. Also note fields that are required, which are marked by a red asterisk. Enter the contract title and any additional required or necessary information. Note that for longer drop-down menus, once you click the drop-down arrow, such as for the vendor list, you can navigate to the desired vendor name by typing the beginning letters of the company or vendor name. The system will automatically navigate to the matching vendor name that is being typed in. The system will automatically assign the employee creating the contract as the contract admin by default. This may be changed as well using the drop-down menu if the contract record needs to be assigned to a different employee. The employee assigned as the contract admin will be the employee that receives any alerts for the contract record, such as the expiration warning alert and the alert on the expiration date. Also note that the contract type drop-down has been disabled by a configuration setting, which can be managed by system administrators. If the contract type does need to be changed, however, you should click the Cancel button in the right-hand menu and start over. For the effective and expiration dates, select the date for the appropriate boxes by clicking on the calendar icon to the right of the text box or by entering the dates into the text boxes. When using the calendar icon, you can use the arrows in the upper left and right hand corners of the calendar box to quickly navigate through the months. Please note that the effective and expiration dates may not be required. However, best practices recommend that at least the expiration date be entered for notification purposes. You may also select the number of days before the expiration date for an additional notification using the Notify Days text box. The expiration warning date is an auto-calculated date that you will receive an alert. The expiration warning date is determined by the number of notified days entered before the expiration date. You can also optionally enter an annual review date as an additional alert. There are also options to enter financial and budgetary information for the contract here if necessary in the contract amount and budget amount text boxes. As you can see, you can attempt to change information in the Record Info section, but the changes do not remain when you click away from the field. Click the Continue button and the contract record will be saved. You will then be taken to the New Contract Details screen to view the details. On the Contract Records Details screen, note the right-hand menu that contains links that will allow you to quickly and efficiently manage the contract record. Also note that to the right of each line item in the contract record, there is a trio of blue dots. The dotted link will appear next to any line that can be edited. To edit a line item, click the dotted link for the corresponding line item you would like to edit. This will open the Edit Field screen. You can use the drop-down box to select a different field value. The right-hand menu of the Edit Field screen contains two links, Cancel Changes and Save Changes. Click the Save Changes link to save the new field value. You will be taken back to the Contract Details screen where you will be able to see the edited field. Also note that some fields that can be edited may require a value to be entered into a text box instead of a drop-down menu. This concludes the tutorial for adding and editing a contract record.